Now this is Tyvek, of course, and this is a competitive, what we call perforated woven wrap. Now notice that they're both white, but they sure don't perform the same. Now, in order to provide a good solution to which one works right and which one doesn't, let's take the competitive wrap. Now, I'm going to put that on top of the bottle, and I'm just going to attach the cap and secure that onto the bottle. Now, you've noticed that I filled this bottle about one-third full of water. Now, we expect two primary things from, from a weather barrier. One is to stop air from leaking through the uh, material. Now, I'm going to squeeze the air out of this bottle, hoping that because this wrap, if it was performing as a, as a weather barrier, it would stop air leakage. Watch what happens when I squeeze the bottle. Air leaks right through the holes in both directions, obviously not stopping wind-driven rain. We would also expect the wrap to prevent water leakage driven by the wind from moving through it as well. Let's take a look at how that performs. Now with the water, I'm going to tip this uh, jar over a little bit and watch what happens when I squeeze the water, the bottle. You can see all the holes in the wrap are allowing wind-driven rain to move through the product. Not a very good example of what we're trying to achieve. It doesn't stop air and it doesn't stop water. Let's try the same thing with Tyvek. As I remove that sample, I'm going to put Tyvek home wrap on. Secure it the exact same way. And now I realize that when I squeeze the bottle, nothing should come through. And as you can see, no air gets out of the bottle. Now the same thing should happen when I try it with water. Let's try what happens. When I tip it over, no water should leak out through the Tyvek. I'm going to squeeze as hard as I can and show you that no water leaks through the Tyvek. So the product stops airflow and stops liquid water flow. The best combination to prevent any damage to a home and save energy at the same time.